Hello everyone, it's Kosuke. In this video, I will explain how curry became Japan's national food. This is Japanese curry restaurant Kokoichi. In English, it is known as Koko Curry. Not only in Japan, also it has many branches outside Japan. Okay, let's go to Koko Curry. Place your order on the screen. You can select the language, Japanese, English, Korean, or Chinese. Let's have a look at the menu. You can choose various types of toppings with curry, pork and beef, chicken, vegetables, egg, seafood, naan bread, curry udon noodle, curry ramen is not available today. I'm gonna have handmade tonkatsu curry. For rice portion, standard size is 300 gram. I'm gonna have 500 gram rice. For spice levels, you can choose up to level 20. But be careful, level 10, level 20, they are extremely spicy. I can't eat them, they are crazy. If you come to Koko Curry for the first time, I recommend regular spiced or mild flavor. Usually, I don't get toppings because I'm stingy. But today, it's for YouTube. Let's have lots of toppings. Stewed shrimp, fried shrimp, mushrooms, and vegetables. My curry has come. This is a typical Japanese curry. Tonkatsu is on the rice. The curry sauce is brown. It got some vegetables. You can get an apron if you don't want to get your clothes dirty. Oh, I don't need it. Itadakimasu. Mmm, this is a curry that makes me feel at home. Shrimp. Umai. Tonkatsu. Mmm, very good. This is a sauce I've never used. Let me see. Mmm, maybe I don't need it because the curry is already delicious for me. Japanese pickles. The pickles and rice are a good combination. When did Japanese people start eating curry? As everyone knows, curry is from India. It was taken from India to the UK, and British people brought Indian curry to Japan in 19th century when Japan opened its border. Afterwards, Japan made some changes to it, and curry became a national food like everyone loves. Especially Japanese kids love curry. I still remember when I was in a kindergarten, every Tuesday, school lunch was curry. Tuesday was a happy curry day. As a child, I always wished I could eat curry every day. Japanese curry tend to be a little sweeter than Indian curry. Now, in 21st century, Japanese curry goes beyond borders. It has been gaining popularity in the world. 
When I went to the UK on working holiday, I was surprised that British people were eating Japanese curry. I found a British chain restaurant, Wagamama. I applied for the job and I worked as a waiter. This Japanese inspired restaurant was super popular in the UK. There was always a long queue outside of the restaurant. The Wagamama's signature menu was chicken katsu curry. I ate a chicken katsu curry maybe more than 50 times on my shift. I like it. The difference I noticed between real Japanese curry and Wagamama's curry was we Japanese people put katsu on rice. But Wagamama, they put rice on katsu, the other way around. I don't know why they do that, but that's fine. Also keep in mind, in Japan, when we say katsu curry, 90% of the time it means pork katsu curry, because pork katsu curry is more common than chicken katsu in Japan. So if you want to have chicken katsu curry, you should make sure you are ordering chicken katsu, not pork katsu. I need a little extra curry sauce to finish rice. In cocoa curry, if you want to have another curry sauce, you will have to pay. But if it's just a small portion, you can get it once for free of charge. Oh, I'd like to tell you Japanese pronunciation of curry. We pronounce curry as kare or kare rice. Kare is loved by Japanese people so much. We also have kare ban curry bread, kare udon, curry udon noodle. We eat curry in many different ways. This is ordinary Japanese supermarket. Curry's got a big section. As you can see, so many curries are stocked on the shelves. Anpanman kare, Pokemon kare, Purikiwa kare, Curry is easy to cook at home. This is a curry bread shop at Tokyo Station. Karepan, let's eat. Mmm, it's good. It's just been cooked. So fresh. Curry is inside. Fried outside is crispy and soft inside. Karepan is available at bakeries, supermarket, and everywhere in Japan. Why don't you try it if you come to Japan? This is Hanamaru Udon, a chain restaurant of udon noodle. I'm gonna show you kare udon. This is kare udon. Green onions on top of it, udon noodle, carrots, potatoes, meats, and curry soup. I think this is affordable. Mix them well together before you eat. It's time to eat. Oh, I ate too much noodle at once. In Japan, of course, curry rice is a mainstream, but curry with udon noodle is also a popular way to eat curry. Rice and noodle, both of them are our staple foods. So no wonder Japanese people started eating curry udon as well as curry rice. How was it? I hope you learned something new about Japanese curry and our culture. Please hit the like and subscribe button and leave your comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.